let's go to the northern region. Anissa, the situation in Bimbila is very, very serious over yeah. there. And let's go to the northern region and to Google Map. And Bimbila is located in the northern region. And we do understand that the incidents happened around the central mosque. As a result, government has had to impose a curfew over there. And most of the injured will be taken to the Bimbala Hospital. So it started over here at the Central Mosque, and we understand so far two people have been reported dead, and most of the injured will be sent to the Bimbala Hospital. And so far two people have been reported dead. And if you are in Bimbala, you can get interactive with us. That's on Facebook, twitter.com slash news on TV3. As I said early on, the situation happened around the Bimbala Central Mosque and many of the injured will be sent to the Bimbala Central Hospital. So let's find out the genesis of this whole situation. And we understand that it started in 1999 after the overlord of Nanum passed on and the succession dispute erupted in 2002. And so the area has been battling insecurity resulting in carefree positions following their development. So we also do understand that the situation escalated in 2014 during the burial of one of the overlords in that area and it has been going on since 1999. Currently, government has imposed a 4 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew, um, which has lasted almost a year and was reviewed few days to the 2016 elections from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. The family of the late Na Salifu Dawunu filed an appeal against the legitimacy of Na and Dani, and the family alleged government involvement in the delay of the burial of the late chief. What else do we know about this conflict? We also do understand that the family is asking government to stay off the case for the Supreme Court to adjudicate the dispute. And today, a new curfew has been directed, which is from 4 p.m. to 6 a.m. So that is the situation at Bimbila. If you are over there, you can get interactive with us. That's on Facebook, twitter.com slash news on TV3.